And here we are with men's car jacking 100 meters. First up, we have Mark Phillips straight out of the hood. He's one of the best car jackers in any hood of the United States. And in lane two, we have England's very own gold medalist, Desmond Johnson, a phenomenal lock picker. It's said that if you leave your car unattended by him for five seconds, it's as good as gone. I'm very anxious to see how this one's gonna play out. This is definitely gonna be one for the books. And they're off. Both niggas definitely matched in speed. Mark takes a stop at the Beamer trying to stun on niggas while Desmond heads for the Stratus. Mark looking like he's having a hard time with that 08 Beamer while Desmond looking so comfortable with it. He's done this before plenty of times. Desmond gets the door open a little bit faster than Mark. They both head into the car. I hear the Stratus starting up. Desmond turned the wheel. Two-time gold medalist. He's definitely won this one. Homeowner running out the house. He's definitely too late. Desmond's been gone. No, he can't catch Desmond. That strategy is gone. He turns around and tries to stop the Beamer. He's got Mark. He's not even trying to put up a fight. He knows where he's going. Up next, we have Desmond Johnson and weed rolling. He said to be able to roll 100 blunts in under five minutes, so we're definitely expecting a fat, properly rolled blunt from him today. And he's off. Look how he's rolling that blunt. Sheer concentration. I don't know anyone who could do it better. Look at him roll that blunt. Here comes the hardest part, licking the blunt. He's got to apply a nice and even coat of saliva to make that blunt. Oh, he's definitely going to get points taken off for that extra lick. That is too much saliva. Unnecessary. And here is Desmond Johnson in the men's swag off. He's uh, looking like the typical hood nigga here. Um, he has the Jordan Futures on the black sock. Oh, what is that? A uh, brick. He definitely missed that shot. He has uh, the typical non-hooping outfit on. Uh, yeah, they never can hoop when they go to the court like that. Next up, we have Leland Manning on the swag off, walking in like he can drop any nigga at any second. He has a nice short sleeve hoodie on and the ooh maroon six is definitely compliments the outfit fresh as fuck. Ooh shit. Is that the crib walk? He's definitely hitting that niggas love. Ooh shit, is that the that's a raven dance? He's definitely gonna get some uh points there. Niggas love dancing. He's uh he did the thing, he did the damn thing. And last but not least, Mark Phillips in the swag off. Walking in like he can take your bitch at any second. Okay, with the Dragon Ball Z shirt on, definitely some points there. Niggas love Dragon Ball Z. Laney Fives, he's definitely complimenting the fit as well. I like how this dude's standing there like he's that nigga. Oh, shit. Fresh fade on his head. And walking off like, nigga, I just did that shit. Jumping right into Hood's Men freestyling eight bars. Uh, we have Jamaica. About to give you some of that uh, Jamaican heat. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Big shirt, cause I do big things. What up, Jamaica? Got girls with the fat thing. Whip white like cool. Your girl got dumb brain like she dropped out of school. I be no fool. I'm going for the gold like you saying, boy. You countries lost your cool. I'm taking your ring like candy on a rope. Ah, ah, ah. Give me your ring, man. Just give me your ring. Give me your ring. His flow definitely has some uh, Jamaican heat. He said, uh, big shirts, cause I do big things. Um, He's definitely taking some rings from a few countries with that right there. And uh, that's Jamaica, Affion Harris. And here we are with Olympics men's roasting. We have Mark Phillips from the USA and Lila Manigo from Canada. Definitely some of their country's best roasters. In, uh, and they're going to high side here at Hood Rio, for lack of a better term. And ooh, look at that execution on Mark's wrist. He's definitely ready. We have Ben, the instigator, and Desmond Johnson as an instigator as well. I expect to hear a lot of ooh shits. And uh, let's jump right hey, into it. Nigga, bro, I got him, I got him, boy. The first nigga to have a short sleeve sweater wearing ass, boy. Oh, no. Bunch of black ass, boy. Tar skin ass, boy. Man, nah, what fuck that. You had a lot coming out of here with that damn Dragon Ball Z shirt. You like 25 years old. Boy, you better boy, stop. I bust the Crayola shirt. Nah, 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 boy, get nah, nah, boy. Get boy hell no. Get your Gucci man looking ass. <laughs> Genuine <laughs> hair ass. Oh, man, man, fuck that. Oh, Roscoe Dash looking ass. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Hold on. <laughs> boy, you better wrinkle ass pants. You're like you boy, I know you ain't got no green pants on, boy. Ugly pants <laughs> ass, boy. What is those? You better man. stop. You slipping them hoes. Woke up. It came out here. Get your 20 years old. You got two of you 28 years old. No, no, no. Fuck all that. Boy, you 28 years old with braces and your teeth oh, still big. Show him, show him. Oh. Boy, you don't trick daddy looking ass, boy. <laughs> That was definitely a great roasting match. I just want to highlight some of my favorite parts. Uh, Leland being the first nigga to have a short sleeve jacket wearing ass definitely had me rolling, had my kids rolling as well. But um, Leland had some heat as well. Um, he said Mark was 25 years old, still wearing a Dragon Ball Z shirt wearing ass. Uh, definitely had us cracking up as well. We were all rolling. I just want to say, look at how Mark threw that hand right there. Definitely some heat was about to come out no matter what. Perfectly executed. I couldn't be more astonished by his performance. And then the fire he gave Leland right here, Gucci Mane looking ass and genuine hair ass. Such
such an accurate description. Look at his hair. Like, it's some R&B singer. Genuine. Cisco. It was somebody. It's crazy. <laughs> Wait, hold up a minute. Looks like somebody might be heating <laughs> up out there. What's up, bitch? What? Hold on, nigga. Who you talking to? What's I'm talking up? to you. You with all niggas, that time? Niggas always trying to I box. Man, fuck that. What's up? That's how I know you. What's up? Trying to box. What's up, though? What's, what's up? up? Is that the cops? What? Ain't this your house, though? It is. Here we are to kick off the Winter Hood Olympics 2018. We have men's dice rolling. First up, we have Mark Phillips, a hood nigga from one of America's most violent hoods. He's rumored to be one of America's best dice rollers, rolling only a seven or 11. Look at how skilled this man is. Before he does his roll, he looks out for cops every time. Seven. And there it is, a seven. Living up to his name, the other countries do not look happy about this, knowing that Mark is going to get the roll again, and it's going to be an 11 most likely. He grabs the pot and is now preparing to roll again. He's going to be looking for an 11 on this next roll. A marvelous snap to a company of the roll, and there it is, an 11. Mark Phillips does it again, men's hey, dice rolling hey, champion. Oh, 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 wait, hold on. Seems to be some sort of altercation. The other countries seem to be challenging the role. Now this could turn into something very dangerous, seeing as the hood niggas do not play about their money. And Mark Phillips takes off running to avoid questioning. Hey, is this your car? Yeah, this is my car. I'm just getting something out of it real fast. Where's your keys? Oh. I got him right. Oh, I must have. I must have dropped. Okay. And they're off. Mark Phillips first up from the USA and men's running from the cops. Mark Phillips clearly gapping the police. A true gold medalist in multiple categories. Look at how he's running side to side. The cop truly doesn't know which way to go. He's opening up the gap on the police. The police is getting tired and it's over. Strong finish from Mark Phillips. The cop was truly outclassed. Mark Phillips, a model hood Olympian. A monumental star from France's own hood nigga Desmond Johnson looks like he's trying to gain some speed but he keeps looking back such a rookie mistake and he's caught Desmond Johnson's caught he's going to jail for at least a year such a shame so much talent gone to waste next up we have drug dealing with Colombia's finest drug dealer Leland Manigo standing under poor lighting on his signature block it is said that he can do up to 115 drug deals a night and here's his first customer let's see how this plays out my god i'm at a loss for words let's replay that one more time i am absolutely astonished by the speed of this drug deal Lila manigo was able to count all of his money and make sure it was there and hold a conversation with this man before the drug deal was over. Unexplainable. It doesn't get better than the Hood Olympics. Last but not least, we have Mark Phillips up in men's instigating. Yeah. Oh, y'all boys on that 2K, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Hold on, 48 to 79? You going to stay? Yeah. Man, he blowing your ass out. Watch out, bro. Watch man, out. Nah, bro. He don't really play 2K like this. I mean, it's all good. Yeah, oh bro. shit, hold on. <laughs> I didn't know that nigga was your daddy. What? What are you talking about? I'm saying that nigga telling you what you play. No, nah. nah, bro, I really don't play. He, he don't have 2K. Like, I don't have 2K. Like, he only plays oh, like Oh shit, I didn't know that nigga answered for you. He, he sound like he checking your motherfucking ass, but I don't know. What? No, that nigga not checking me. I'm just saying he telling you what you play. Like, I, 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 nigga, ain't no nigga gonna tell me that shit, you feel me? I mean, shit, it's whatever. I mean, that nigga can get it. I mean, I'm not gonna let nobody check. He can get what? Wait, what? Like, you tell, you saying like you, you gonna smash that nigga? I mean, he can get whatever. I'm just saying it's whatever. Wait, what, what are you talking about? Oh, he, he sound like, he, he don't know, man. He sound like he might get on your motherfucking ass. He might what? I mean, we can go outside, my nigga. What's I don't give a fuck. Nigga? We can go. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's 
Let's go ahead and give a quick recap on how Mark instigated these niggas. Y'all know, I didn't know that nigga was your daddy. What are you talking about? Mark knew damn well that that man was not his father, but saying that, he knew he was about to start some shit. It sounds like he checking your motherfucking ass, but I don't know. What? No, that ain't not checking me. Right here, Mark knew exactly what he was doing. Nobody was checking anybody, but Mark seen the opportunity and took clear advantage. A true gold medalist. Nigga, ain't no nigga gonna tell me that shit, you feel me? I mean, shit, it's whatever. I mean, I didn't get it. I mean, I'm not gonna let... It was really over right here. Making a hypothetical situation and inserting himself into it, for example, ain't no nigga gonna tell... Is a surefire way to heat any nigga up. What, what are you talking about? Oh, he, he sound like... He, he don't know, man. Game time. Mark already knew right here that he had him where he wanted him. Leland tried to insert some logic in, and Mark came straight with the ignorance. Everybody knows that ignorance beats logic every time. Yo, yo, fuck let's yo. go! Let's yeah. go! And there it is right there. A fight is about to start. You see the passion in his face. He absolutely loves what he does. A true hood nigga at heart. And that marks the end of the Hood Winter Olympics. See you again in 2020. And here we are to kick off the Hood Olympics 2021. And we're going to start this one off with men's drive-bys with Mark Phillips of Team USA. Now, Mark is definitely a Hood Olympian that you want to look out for. He has won gold in several other Hood activities. And pay attention. Look how he looks around to see if there's any witnesses as he gets ready to complete his drive-by. He's going to be a tough one to beat. Let's see how he does. And Mark starts sliding. It looks like he may have caught his target off guard. His target hits the corner quickly. Mark cannot hit none of his shots. This does not look good, and Mark has failed the mission. He is disappointed with his performance. He knows he could have done better. He is going to have to learn to slide better than that. Next up, France's very own Desmond Johnson, a very decorated hood nigga in his own right. He's looking to take home a gold medal in men's drive-bys today. Desmond with a phenomenal start. He hits the target once, but the target is not falling. He's still moving. He hits the corner, and the man gets away. His hood in France is not going to be happy with his performance. He definitely may have to answer to an OG. Wait, what is this? It seems like Mark was so disappointed with his performance, he has decided to spin the block again. The target is coming back outside to see if the coast is clear, and Mark has spent the block again successfully. The target is on the ground. Mark has won a gold medal. And up next, we have one of the Hood's favorite activities. We have Team USA in men's jumping. Now, Team USA is definitely a team you want to look out for in jumping because there's not too many other countries that like to jump more than the Hoods in the United States. Let's see how they perform this year. And we also have our volunteer, Dylan Patel, ready to get jumped. Hey, what's good, bro? Hey, let's holler at you real quick. Hey, on, and they're off. They get him to the ground very quickly, and they're beating the mess out of him. Oh, this is going to be a hard one to beat. You see the rapid hands. And, oh, amazing. Two stops to the head. He definitely will not be getting up easily from that one. And they run his pockets as well. This team knows what they are doing. And the last second kick. This man is not getting up at all. He definitely felt that. And Mark and the team are feeling great about their performance. Next team we have is Canada. Now, the Canadians are not bad at jumping. We do expect to see a good jump here. Not to mention, they are a little bit smaller in size, but they have added an extra person to balance that out. Amazing strategy. Let's see how they do today. Hey, big bro. Where you from? No, don't run, don't. And they're off. It seems a little hectic at the... Oh, and a member is hit. We're definitely going to take points off for that. It depends on how they recover from here on out. They finally get him to the ground. Let's see what happens. All right, he good, he good. Oh, he gets up too quick. This does not look good for Team Canada. Leland knows this and is showing emotion, wishing he could have led his team to do a little bit better. There were a lot of mistakes in Team Canada's jumping. I do not think they're going to be able to come out with a gold, a silver, or a bronze. Maybe they should just stop jumping people as a country. And we have Team Jamaica up next. Now, this team is a sleeper. People in Jamaica are known to have a side that will turn up when needed. This will be an exciting one to watch. Let's see what happens. Boy. Walk one, my boy. He's going the wrong way, my boy. What? Get him on the ground. 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 Get him on the ground.
Jamaica with an amazing execution, ladies and gentlemen. In and out. That is the type of jumping you want. A lot of foot, foot, foots. We like to hear those and quick and got the point across. The Jamaicans are clearly our gold medalists for the event because they were very efficient. We like the way they were talking. We like what they were doing and they beat the mess out of them. That is a perfect jumping. And now we're going to take it to men snitching with Poland's very own hood nigga, Jonathan Newton. Let's see how solid he can be under pressure. Mr. Newton. How you doing today? Doing all right, yes. Doing all right. Well, I'm sure you heard. This is Robert at a corner set today. Yeah, I saw the news. You saw? Yeah. When did they say they saw you there? No, they ain't seen me. They ain't see you? I ain't no snitch either. I ain't no snitch. Nobody said nothing about all that, but. I'm saying I'm solid. You saw it? Did you find it 10 years? 10? 15 ago, hurry up! What? How did we get 10? We didn't even shoot the nigga, man. It wasn't even my idea. Whose idea was it? It was it was Brandon Demetrius, man. Oh, there Come I on, did. man. I'm not doing no ten. I okay. can't do that. Was it just all three? Yes, it was just us, man. Okay. But we didn't even shoot. We were just in there. We got one in and went out. That's it. We just took the money. You took the money? Okay. And he folded. And that quick, he has sold out his two partners and probably gave them 10 plus years in jail. Jonathan Newton has snitched. He is a rat in his own hood now. I am interested to see how Poland will handle their very own hood nigga, Jonathan Newton, who they sent to represent their hood, snitching on the rest of them. Next up, we have Mark Phillips doing snitching for Team USA. Now, Team USA has been a little bit off their game this Olympics. They have been losing a lot more than we expected them to lose. Let's see if they can take a gold home in snitching. Hey, Mr. Phillips, how are you doing today? As you know, there was a murder today during a home invasion. Witnesses saw you at the scene. And, you know, we're trying to figure out what happened. Can you tell us what you were doing today? I was at home, chilling. Oh, he was at home, he was at home, okay. Do you have for 10 years? Get out of my face. Okay. So you wanna play? Now remember the goal here is to not snitch, so let's see how solid Mark Phillips can be. We're gonna be here for a while. Talk about some food. I'm sorry, I gotta... Oh, fries, large fries. A big Mac in here. I'm saying you help me out a little bit. I'll help you out a little bit. All I gotta do is tell me what happened. Hey, he already told me. He already told me what y'all was wearing. He said, you had some tins on. He had some black Air Forces. He said I had some tins on? Some tins. That's what he told me. Man, you just guessed that shit, bro. Guess it? What you mean? I mean, y'all told me you had a, a, a gray Nike suit on. Man, what the fuck? So, so, so he a red ass nigga. I, I, My nigga a red ass nigga. I'm not, I'm not saying all that. I'm just saying that's what he told me. Well, fuck it then, shit. Lame ass nigga. Since he want to talk, shit. Hey, I, I feel like I deserve like one year at most. One year? Cause I'm... I was just looking out. You... That nigga done ran around in there and shot them people. Oh, that was him. Yeah, I was just looking out, nigga. Yeah. Okay, he's on that side. He told me he knew that. He knew that place. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah. Who else was there? Shit, it was, it was man, it was everybody, okay. nigga. Uh. Shit, Lil Ray. Lil Ray, okay. Shit, Marcus. Yeah, you know where he, shit. You know where he stay at? Man, hey, I know where they stay. You know where they stay? Okay, I got it. Okay. Shit. We'll, we'll get that. We'll get Lame that. ass niggas. I'm snitching on all them niggas. All right, it's all you right here, by the way. It's yeah, no, nah, yes, sir. It's yes, sir. You. And Mark Phillips has started singing. He has sold out the Team USA's hoods. Maybe he was a bit hungrier than he had led the investigation team to believe because he seemed to start folding when the McDonald's was pulled out the bag. A great job from the investigator, Benjamin Skinner. A big upset. Mark Phillips will not be taking home the gold medal in men's snitch. Next up, we have Leland Menigo and men snitching. Let's see how solid Canada can be. The other two hood niggas could not hold it down for their countries. Let's see if Leland Menigo can do it for Canada. Mr. Manigo. How you doing? Pretty good. So as you know, I was home invasion today. Actually, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Well, a couple was killed as well. Oh, okay. And when does it say someone in the master description was fleeing the scene? They lying. They lying? Yes. Okay, they lying. You ain't for 10 years? I'm not facing nothing. I don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on? No. Okay. We'll see about that. Seems a bit hungry. So I'll get some food. Nah, I'm good. Appreciate it, though. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I am. You know what I'm saying? I got a large pie. I mean, I can't eat it all, you know? It's like, it's like a medium. Half of them gone. There's a big bag in here, too. Mm -hmm. Large pie. Like I said, I'm good. Thank you, though. I don't need it. You good? Mm-hmm. You know your homeboy already snitched on you. He said he's wearing black forces. 
You a lie. I ain't never had a pair of black forces in my life. You never owned a black forces? No, not once. Okay. He also said that you're the one that pulled the trigger. Bro, I was not there. I was at home playing 2K. You playing 2K today? Yes. Okay. Any further questions? Nope. Looks like you're free to go. Alright then, man. Flawless performance, Leland Manigo has stayed solid on the investigator Benjamin Skinner. 10 years could not scare him. I don't think 15 or 20 would have either, ladies and gentlemen. Leland Manigo is one of the most solid men in all of Canada. The hoods of Canada are extremely happy to have him representing their country. That man is solid. And last but not least, we have Mark Phillips with men's instigating once again. He gave a gold medal performance last Olympics. Let's see how he does this Olympics, ladies and gentlemen. Can he do it again? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you just won, right? Yeah, yeah, you next? No, I'm not next. I was just saying, like, you, you, what you like, 6'2, six, 6'3, six, right? Yeah, like 6'3. Oh, damn, 6'3. Yeah. And you like, what, 5'9, five, 5'10? Five, yeah. Oh, damn, he must be like Isaiah Thomas or something. What? What's nah, nah. So he must be nice, because he's 6'3, he's he getting beat. What? Nah, he just, he just got a good game. What you mean? Oh, close. he had a good game? Yeah, it was close. That's it, that's all it was, was a good game? Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. Oh, so he probably couldn't do it again then. Probably not. What you mean? Oh, okay, baby. That's guys what I was mean? thinking. Yes, I can. What are you talking about? What you mean? We're running back right now. Which, run it back, run it back. Right. I'm saying, because no, ain't no foul nine should be beating you unless it's like Isaiah Thomas or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to be Isaiah Thomas to beat me. I'm just saying. Like, shit, yeah, no, no, I feel, I feel you. I'm just saying, don't look at me. I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? But your girl is here, though, right? Yeah, she, yeah, she is. She over there. I'm saying, she's probably looking at you like, you know what I'm saying? Girls like tall niggas that's athletic, you feel me? Yeah, I mean, I'm tall and I'm, I'm athletic. I, I, I can't tell. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's whatever. Say, we, can, we can get it right now. I really don't We can go right now. You say he wasn't that athletic, right? You said that? I mean, Shit, maybe. I'm, I'm just saying, it's whatever. Like, like what we, we trying to do? Back right now, Yo, girl did, his girl did text you that one time, right? I mean, my girl texted you. What you mean? I mean, once. But I mean, I, I, what the fuck you talking about? Nigga, what the fuck you mean? mean? What you mean, nigga? What she said? What she said? Hey, shit, you know what I'm doing? Shit, whatever. I just play basketball. I just play basketball. We don't got to 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 play basketball. We don't got Oh, then he must be like Isaiah Thomas or something. And right off the back, Mark knew what he was doing right here. Asking Ben his height and then asking Desmond his height. Clearly, he knew their heights already, and he just wanted to start something up. That's it? That's all it was? was a good game? Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. Oh, so he probably couldn't do it again then? Probably not. What you mean? Oh, okay, baby. That's guys what you I was mean? thinking. Yes, I can. What are you talking about? What you mean? We're running back right now. Mm, got him right there. He said he probably couldn't do that again. Now, we know for a fact that when you ask a nigga that question, that's only going to start something up. And you see how flawless that worked. But your girl is here though, right? Yeah, she, she is. She over there. I'm saying she's probably looking at you like, you know what I'm saying? Girls like tall niggas that's athletic, you feel me? Yeah, I mean, I'm tall and I'm, I'm athletic. I, I, I can't tell. You know what I'm saying? And there it is right there. Top tier instigating, ladies and gentlemen. He said, and your girl is right there. She had nothing to do with this, but yet he brought his girlfriend into the picture. Now, one thing we should know from niggas is when you bring their girlfriend into the picture unprovoked, there will be a problem every single time. No, your girl did, his girl did text you that one time, right? I mean... My girl texted you. What you mean? I mean, once. And that's all it took, ladies and gentlemen. Once he brought up the girl texting him, like I said, do not play with niggas' girlfriends. And he brought up the text right there. Mark is a gold medal instigator, and he will forever be one. I don't think anybody can come close to him in this category. He is as ignorant as niggas come. Mark loves what he does. He will instigate anything he can in any situation. Ignorance and niggas go hand in hand. And that concludes our Hood Olympics. No matter where you go, you're just a tag, tag, tag.